Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step of how I do color correction in DaVinci Resolve. Before I get started, I make this video especially for beginners who just started to learn color grading and color correction in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're an advanced user, I don't think you will learn anything new from this video. So if you want to skip this video, go ahead. But if you want to keep watching, it's up to you. And I'm still learning myself. So if I make a mistake in this video, feel free to comment down below. I will appreciate it. Okay, so with any further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve in color tab where we're going to do off the color grading and color correction in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, and this is the footage that I'm going to use. I will hide the clips and glary so you have a better view. Okay, so this footage was shot on Fimi Pounto Pro using F-Log. And as you can see, the footage looks super flat. Okay, and now I'm going to do color correction to make this footage looks normal. Okay, so if this is the first time you're in color tab and don't know anything about all of the adjustments in this tab, this is not tab. So you can add a new node by pressing all S or you can right click add node and corrector then just link it to the line. So if you don't know anything but node, node is something like layer like in Photoshop. Let me show you. This is the first node. So I will do some adjustments. And as you can see, when I adjust something on the first node, it will affect the next node. It will affect the seconds and the third node. But if I adjust something on the second node, it will only affect the third node and it won't affect the previous node. So node is something like layer. Okay. And down below is all of the adjustment settings that we use to color grade our footage. Okay. So this is color wheels which you won't find in Final Cut, Premiere, or Hit Film. So if you don't know about Leaf, Gamma, and Gain, Leaf is to adjust the dark area in your footage. Gamma is to adjust the mid-tone area. And Gain is to adjust the bright area in your footage. Then Offset is to adjust all of this. So you can say that Leaf, Gamma, and Gain is something like Shadow, Mid-tone, and Highlights. But there's a difference between them because as you can see, we have shadows, midtone, and halex adjustment as well in the pin series of. But I want to explain it to you in this video. There's a lot of video about leaf, gamma, and gain that you can find. Okay, so let's get back. The first thing I want to do is to reduce the offset to around 21.3. And then I will also reduce the gain. And reduce the leaf as well to make the darker area darker because it looks kind of gray before and increase the gamma okay then i will also increase the contrast and reduce the pivot to make it look brighter and i will also add some saturation okay so you can take a look at the before and after it looks so much better and then next I will add a new node and right here I will adjust the white balance. Okay, if you don't know what to do with the white balance, you can just use color picker and click on the widest area in this footage and it will set the white balance to a neutral color. But I want to make the white balance more bluish, so I will adjust the temperature to blue area and set the tint to more purple like this and I will also add some mid details to bring back the cloud okay you can also adjust the curves and also highlights and shadow right here but I won't do that and then I will increase the gain a little bit okay and you can also add vignette effect to your video so I will add a new node I always add vignette effect to a specific node. I don't mix it with other node. Okay, so then go to window tab right here and add our circle. 
then expand it and click on this button to reverse it so it will only affect the outside area of this circle and then click on the curves tab and I will make it darker like this so as you can see this is before and after I add the vignette effect oh yeah and I forgot I will go back to the second node and I will add some red to the leaf green on the gamma and blue on the gamma okay and so this is the final result this is before and after I do color correction to this footage as you can see it looks so much better than before and okay so that's it for this video like I said before if I make a mistake in this video feel free to comment down below I will appreciate it okay so that's it for this video I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit that button like this video don't forget to subscribe if you have already and I will see you guys in the next video